Hey guys, I'm back for another video and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. And in this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fit through one block thick holes like this one. Now you guys are like, Brandon, how is that possible? Your character's two by one. Well, I'm about to show you. With nothing but an elytra, I will make it through this block of stone. So as you can see, I built an invisible barrier floor here so that I can get up to this hole. What you gotta do is with your elytra, you have to go up to the hole and it's gotta be at foot level. And then you get a running start. Whoop. And then you sprint jump, right? Like that. <laughs> that is exactly what happens. Now this looks really derpy. It looks like I'm just standing in the wall and it doesn't, but from my perspective, it looks like I'm a little guy. Like, look at that. It's so cool. Oh, it starts to suck you out once you go too far to the edge. New. <laughs> So there you go, I just did it. So let's see this in action again. Okay, so the timing has to be very precise with this. So you have to sprint and then jump uh, like this block. And then in mid air, you have to double jump again. So three space presses, one, two, three. Didn't work that time. Now maybe on this block is when you wanna jump. There you go. Yeah, so that was close. So you jump when you're two blocks away. So right here is when you would jump. And I don't want to fall off this edge again. Nope. Can't believe I got that first try. There you go. And then you just got to keep pushing your way through until it just starts acting normal again. So there you go. That's how you make it through. And you could do strip mining this way. Now I am going to show you guys this in action in a survival world because it has a pretty awesome application. All right, guys, I am back in a brand new survival world, and I spawned myself an elytra, a diamond pickaxe, and some pork chops. So, to get into this mountain, this mountain wall here, all we gotta do is dig, like, maybe three blocks that way, and then we do this. Whoop, boom, boom. Nope, failed that time. Whoop, beep, beep, beep. I think the best way to do it is to hit the three spaces in rapid succession. So boom, boom, boom. And then there you go. This is a very effective way to strip mine because you cover twice the distance in half the time. And if you're searching for diamonds, if you think about it, every time I break a block, I expose four other blocks, right? So I break this, I expose here, 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 and here. Now if you were to be doing a conventional mine, the oh, hello. I just made it completely through that mountain. But if you do a regular mine like this, then you expose six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six for breaking two blocks. So technically, you are exposing blocks at a 50% higher rate, which means you can discover diamonds faster because you're covering more distance, exposing more blocks in the same amount of time. So. That's it for this quick video, guys. I hope you liked it because this is a pretty awesome exploit. It's like crawling in vanilla Minecraft. I never thought the day would come, but it has due to a glitch with the elytra that will most likely never be patched, just like the flying one. So that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.